Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And would you look at the portfolio today? Another nasty red day down 9.67% today. And then after hours, we are getting absolutely destroyed. D freaking destroyed. This past week, down 21% in the portfolio. Past month, down 33%. And I believe the highest point I've ever been in the portfolio, we were at 44,000 on February 10th at the, in the beginning of the day, but we ended the day at 41,000. Beautiful, beautiful day. And since then, we are almost 50% down from my portfolio. 50% down. I actually did sell one thing today. I know I've said I'm not going to sell anything, but I did, in fact, sell it. I sold a my option play for Afria. Okay, I had to. I'm sorry. It's just a precautionary thing. You see, I told I sold it for one thousand fifty five dollars. But look at look at look at. You see, Afria ten dollar call. When, when did I buy the Afria ten dollar call? Ten dollar call. I bought it for three fifty. You see this? Bought it for three fifty. Sold it for one thousand and fifty five. So I more than doubled, almost tripled my money on it. Okay. That's how much money I made on it, just to keep my cash balance up, get my margin down. But, okay, but one thing that's going to push my margin up a lot is this baby right here. Neo $45 put option. I sold the put for $213, bucks and I'm down 216% on it. And I made it so it's a $45, so... I'm going to be forced to buy 45, 100 shares of NEO at 45 bucks by March 17th if NEO is below $45. And right now, it is way below $45. It's at $37. Jesus. That's insane. So most likely, I will have 100, share, uh, 100 extra shares of NEO. And my margin will be up to 15500 And I'm going to have 300 shares of NEO. So I'm still pretty good right now i'm not even i don't think i'm close to a margin call i think we need to go down another ten thousand dollars to go on a margin call which i'm I've, i'm good i don't plan on selling anything um you see look at these prices neo 37 dollars afria 16 bucks shopify getting close to closer and closer to a thousand this one was up to 1500 let's just look at the highest points all right let's just look at the highest points of my of my stocks that i own Neo was all the way up to almost 67 bucks, And now it's basically down $30 from there. $29, $29 dollars from all-time highs. Let's just look at the carnage. Down 40%. I'll, if I had money right now, guys, I'll be buying a crap ton of Neo right now. And I think it can go down even more, honestly. I think it can go down all the way to this point right here. Let's see. I think you can go down to 35, 35 bucks, 35 bucks. I think Afria, let's look at Afria. What is the highest point Afria been? Afria was all the way up to $32 that one day and it's down to half of what it was. 32, 29, 16, 10. It is 50% down from its all time highs. Afria Shopify. Let's look at this one right here. Shopify was up to basically 1500 bucks. And now it's eleven forty nine. It hasn't been hit as badly as the other ones. Shopify is more a bigger company. Then we have MP. MP was up to fifty one bucks, and now today it was down a crap ton. It was down a crap ton. And MP, I think is a good buy. Jumia, I think Jumia. This is a justified. I'm actually starting to get down on these positions now. Jumia was all the way up to basically 67 bucks, down $30, $30. I think Jumia can go down even more, honestly. Corsair Gaming, the highest it's been is 51 It's down $20 from its all-time highs. Tesla was up to 900 bucks, and now it's at 600 bucks. Sheesh. How much lower do you think Tesla can go? Write it down in the freaking comments. 
I don't know. Do you think it can go back to four hundreds? Maybe. How much can it? How much more selling can there be? Then we have Dropbox. Dropbox just does not move. <laughs> Look, it doesn't matter what's going on. Dropbox doesn't move. But yeah, there's a portfolio full transparency. D does anything about what's going on worry me? Not yet. Not yet. I've seen. I've been in this situation many times over. Many times. You see right here, I went from 17,000 all the way down to 11,000. Then I've been all the way up to 40,000, 41,000. And then I go all the way down to 14,000. And then I went all the way up to 44,000 recently, and now I'm back to 23,000. The other times before, here, margin called. Here, margin called. So far, I'm doing way, way better, way better than the past two times. Got to learn from the mistakes. If I get into the margin call, I do have money in my bank account that I will deposit. And I still have more money coming in. I'm still waiting for my um, tax return. And then there's a stimulus coming soon. So I have, I think I can easily deposit like in the next, I think, two or three weeks. Easily deposit $5,000 plus if I get into a margin call. Or if I even see some deals. Like if Neil... If I see Neil going down to below thirty bucks, I'm gonna have to buy at least, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna buy as many shares as possible, but I want to pay off the margin, so I'm I wasn't as prepared as I wanted to for this, but I'm way more prepared than I was f for last year, and I think that same thing is why people are selling off because this is exactly what happened last year, people were buying on the dip and now it's one year later. This is what Jeremy said. If you watched uh, one of his videos, it's, he made a good point, okay, from financial education or whatever what channel, whatever channel he posted on. He said that people were buying now and then guess what? It's been a one whole year and people are starting to sell off because of the long-term tax benefits. So it's been exactly more, a year and people are selling off to take profits. And of course, we everyone knows that m most stocks shouldn't be priced at where they are they're at right now because it's overvalued you know it's overvalued and you're seeing some of these prices and now like neo i'm willing i was willing to buy neo at 50 bucks why would i not be willing to buy neo at 37 dollars and i want to get as many shares as, uh, as possible like for a long-term investor don't even look at the freaking prices man just look at your share count and make sure it keeps going up if you have the money to do so, remember, I'm no financial advisor, no financial expert. I'm just a random guy posting videos, my experience about these things, what I believe is going on. Don't take my advice. You know, I'm just a random person. And yeah, be careful with margin. All right. Trust me, I've made lots of mistakes with margin and I'm basically showing you guys from my experience because i've been in the market for quite a while already it's been a couple of years now and the goal is to get to 50k by the end of the year i think we might be able to achieve it let's just see how long it takes how fast we can do it can we do it by the end of the year it might be a tough one if the market keeps going down i might have to keep depositing keep depositing slowly we might see it if i had to deposit ten twenty thousand dollars i'm gonna have to get to 50k that's what i'm gonna do but with the stocks i own right now i believe in all of them jumia i need to see some more from you i need to see some more you're at e-commerce you need to start performing like it baby i want to see some good numbers from the earnings next time all right i want to see more revenue i want to see getting closer to profitability because that's what you're freaking trying to do and you're failing like come on man all right but yeah that's a little update um I just got home from work um, i'm trying to post as much as i can but it's tough you know it's tough uh, i'll see you guys in the next one hey how's it going everybody welcome back to the channel and would you look at the portfolio today another nasty red day down 9.67 percent today and then after hours we are getting absolutely destroyed d freaking destroyed this past week down 21 percent in the portfolio past month down 
33%. And I believe the highest point I've ever been in the portfolio, we were at 44,000 on February 10th at the, in the beginning of the day, but we ended the day at 41,000. Beautiful, beautiful day. And since then, we are almost 50% down from my portfolio. 50% down. I actually did sell one thing today. I know I've said I'm not going to sell anything, but I did, in fact, sell it. I sold a my option play for Afria. Okay, I had to. I'm sorry. It's just a precautionary thing. You see, I told I sold it for one thousand fifty five dollars. But look at look at look. look. You see, Afria ten dollar call. When did I buy the Afria ten dollar call? Ten dollar call. I bought it for three fifty. You see this? Bought it for three fifty. Sold it for one thousand and fifty five. So I more than doubled, almost tripled my money on it. Okay, that's how much money I made on it. Just to keep my cash balance up, get my margin down. But, okay, but one thing that's going to push my margin up a lot is this baby right here. Neo $45 put option. I sold the put for $213 bucks and I'm down 216% on it. And I made it so it's a $45. So I'm going to be forced to buy 45, 100 shares of Neo at $45 bucks. By March 17th, if Neo is below $45. And right now it is way below $45. It's at $37. Jesus. That's insane. So most likely I will have 100 share, uh, hundred extra shares of Neo. And my margin will be up to 15500 And I'm going to have 300 shares of Neo. So I'm still pretty good right now. I'm not even, I don't think I'm close to a margin call. I think we need to go down another $10,000 to go on a margin call, which I'm, I'm, I'm good. I don't plan on selling anything. Um, you see, look at these prices, Neo $37, Afria 16 bucks, Shopify getting close to, closer and closer to a thousand. This one was up to 1500. Let's just look at the highest points. All right. Let's just look at the highest points of my, of my stocks that I own. Neo was all the way up to almost 67 bucks. And now it's basically down thirty dollars from there, twenty nine to twenty nine dollars, twenty eight dollars from all time highs. Let's just look at the carnage, down forty percent. Oh, if I had money right now, guys, I would be buying a crap ton of Neo right now, and I think it can go down even more. Honestly, I think it can go down all the way to this point right here. Let's see. I think it can go down to thirty five. 35 bucks. 35 bucks, I think. Afria. Let's look at Afria. What is the highest point Afria been? Afria was all the way up to $32 that one day. And it's down to half of what it was. 32.29, 1610. It is 50% down from its all time highs, Afria. Shopify. Let's look at this one right here. Shopify was up to basically 1500 bucks. And now it's 1149. It hasn't been hit as badly as the other ones. Shopify is more a bigger company. Then we have MP. MP was up to 51 bucks, and now today it was down a crap ton. It was down a crap ton. And MP, I think it's a good buy. Jumia, I think Jumia, this is a justified. I'm actually starting to get down on these positions now. Jumia was all the way up to basically 67 bucks. Down thirty dollars, thirty dollars. I think Jumia can go down even more. Honestly, Corsair Gaming, the highest it's been is fifty one. It's down twenty dollars from its all time highs. Tesla was up to nine hundred bucks, and now it's at six hundred bucks. Sheesh! How much lower do you think Tesla can go? Write it down in the freaking comments. I don't know. Do you think it can go back to the four hundreds? Maybe. How much can it? How much more selling can there be? Then we have Dropbox. Dropbox just does not move. <laughs> it doesn't matter what's going on. Dropbox doesn't move. But yeah, there's the portfolio. Full transparency. D does anything about what's going on worry me? Not yet. Not yet. I've seen. I've been in this situation many times over. Many times. You see right here, I went from 17,000 or 
all the way down to 11,000. Then I've been all the way up to 40,000, 41,000. And then I go all the way down to 14,000. I'm all, the, and then I went all the way up to 44,000 recently, and now I'm back to 23,000. The other times before, here, margin called. Here, margin called. So far, I'm doing way, way better, way better than the past two times. Got to learn from the mistakes. If I get into the margin call, I do have money in my bank account that I will deposit. And I still have more money coming in. I'm still waiting for my um, tax return. And then there's a stimulus coming soon. So I have, I think I can easily deposit like in the next, I think, two or three weeks. Easily deposit $5,000 plus if I get into a margin call. Or if I even see some deals. Like if Neil... If I see Neil going down to below thirty bucks, I'm gonna have to buy. At least, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna buy as many shares as possible, but I want to pay off the margin. So I'm I wasn't as prepared as I wanted to for this, but I'm way more prepared than I was for last year. And I think that same thing is why people are selling off because this is exactly what happened last year. People were buying on the dip, and now it's one year later. This is what Jeremy said. If you watched uh, one of his videos, he made a good point, okay, from financial education or whatever what channel whatever channel he posted on. He said that people were buying now, and then guess what? It's been a one whole year, and people are starting to sell off because of the long-term tax benefits. So it's been exactly more, a year, and people are selling off to take profits. And, of course, we everyone knows that most stocks – shouldn't be priced at where they are they're at right now because it's overvalued you know it's overvalued and you're seeing some of these prices and now like neo i'm willing i was willing to buy neo at 50 bucks why would i not be willing to buy neo at 37 dollars? and i want to get as many shares as, uh, as possible like for a long-term investor don't even look at the freaking prices man just look at your share count and make sure it keeps going up if you have the money to do so remember i'm no financial advisor no financial expert i'm just a random guy posting videos my experience about these things what i believe is going on don't take my advice you know i'm just a random person and yeah be careful with margin all right trust me i've made lots of mistakes with margin and i'm basically showing you guys from my experience, because I've been in the market for quite a while already. It's been a couple of years now. And the goal is to get to 50K by the end of the year. I think we might be able to achieve it. Let's just see how long it takes. How fast we can do it. Can we do it by the end of the year? Might be a tough one if the market keeps going down. I might have to keep depositing and keep depositing. Slowly, we might see it. If I had to deposit $20,000, I'm going to have to get to 50 k That's what I'm going to do. But with the stocks I own right now, I believe in all of them. Jumia, I need to see some more from you. I need to see some more. You're at e-commerce. You need to start performing like it, baby. I want to see some good numbers from the earnings next time, all right? I want to see more revenue. I want to see getting closer to profitability because that's what you're freaking trying to do and you're failing like come on man all right but yeah that's a little update um I just got home from work um, i'm trying to post as much as i can but it's tough you know it's tough uh, i'll see you guys in the next one